All right, folks, what's going on? It's Drew from Fastlane Emergency Vehicles, and we're in the golden hour right now, very static lighting. I am here with a brand new Ford Super Duty for Osage Beach. As always, we're gonna dig in and check this bad boy out. Alrighty folks, so what we have here is a brand new Ford F-250. This is for Osage Beach Fire Protection Districts up in the Ozarks in Missouri. Um, as always, we're going to hit this bad boy tip to butt and see what we have going on. Uh, here in the grill, we have two red, blue, white, four inch sound off end powers facing forward. Uh, white's introduced in drive and come on solid white for scene lighting. Uh, here on the front fender for front intersection lighting, we have another four inch end power. Um, we have the charging flag decals on both sides printed unit designator here on the fender on top of the badging. Um, door seal, horizontal stripe, enforced light bar up top. Uh, Arch Chief 4 logo on the back door. Uh, got some more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Rear intersection lighting, we have another 4 inch M power on the other side in this spot. You have the Kuzma Super Auto Eject. Here on the lift gate, more decals, chevrons, uh, as well as red, blue, amber lighting up top, and then red, blue, white here in the back bumpers that come on automatically white when you're in reverse. All right, so here in the cab, we're going to start up top. Uh, no overhead console in this, so in lieu of that, we have two singular speaker pods above each driver, or above each front seat. Um, because of that, you might think this is not a Fastplex truck. Well, you'd be wrong, because we have 4.3 inch Fastplex touchscreen right here in the center console. Um, we do these locations every now and then. I'm actually kind of a fan of it. Um, here on the side, as always, a 20 position fuse block for all fused items on the vehicle for an easy solution if you have to check your fuses. Um, pull mount here for a customer supplied tablet. On this side, we have a Streamlight Stinger flashlight, um, 295 siren controller, a couple of customer provided Motorola radio heads, nice and brand new and green, looking very fancy. Move the mics out of the way because we'll throw some magnet mics when this truck gets delivered. Um, dual USB and cigarette lighter outlet here. These have a USB-C built into it too, so you have an iPhone 15 or newer, you can charge up. Uh, cup holder, cup holder, adjustable fabricated aluminum armrests. Uh, the aforementioned magnet mics will throw in uh, when the truck gets there. Uh, MacBook slot here, and then a open cubby. These are for two Motorola portable radio chargers. All right, last but not least here in the cab, we have something uh, a little bit different. Um, so we have these two hangers. You might be wondering what these are for. These sit against the steering wheel, so you, you can put a small command board here uh, when you're in the cab running command. So, you know, some folks like to do in cab command. So you have two variations here. You have a small and you have a large. Um, and these things do pop apart here and for easy stowable storage. All right, so here in the back seat, ignoring my very stylish book bag, uh, we have here a full back seat. Customer elected to have all of this open. And an undersea electrical box goes in its place. So van Lexian cover uh, underneath of this houses all the electrical items of the vehicle. You have the controller for the Fastplex, vehicle charger, all the radio brains, uh, pre-wiring for a, a repeater, all kinds of stuff right here. All right, so back here is always a ARE 26 inch height DCU cap, fabricated aluminum. Um, this is a dual transverse cap, so no toolboxes in this one. Um, so you can see in the cabinet with adjustable shelf right there, they have their center console, OEM center console loaded up. Um, back here, we have the guts of the operation and another transverse compartment. Uh, slide out, electrical, uh, electrical slide master, uh, bed slide, rolling command board. So pat this bad boy up. Variable height, two lateral extensions, a gastro assist on each side. Uh, Elo touchscreen here. So this is pre-wired for a tethered tablet in the center console. So we'll just mirror right here, so you can do all your business without having to undock the tablet. I love these Elo screens. Uh, back here in the faceplate, we have a dual USB. Three cutouts for radios, one actual customer supplied one, and then three speakers. You have the integrated drawer release here, so push that bad boy in, and a nice little trough for writing utensils, um, erasers, whatever, and then we'll mount their mic clip somewhere on delivery. Um, closing this bad boy up. 
we then have a very large open storage for gear, um, SCBA bracket, ticks in there, little sundry drawer with scallop sides so make ingress and egress super easy. Open storage up top, you have your 10 pound fire extinguisher cubby here and a water can extinguisher down here. Adjustable shelf on that side and another adjustable shelf over here. Um, some excess radio stuff going back to the customer and we mounted their Streamlight Survivor and their Knox box here on the side. All right, folks, I appreciate you taking the time to check out Osage with me. Uh, I actually do really like this truck. I'm a big fan of blue and gold colorways on white trucks. Uh, obviously, like Super Duties. I really like their door seal. Like, get in here. Like, that looks really cool. Like, we've been doing a lot of departments with, like, really sick do door seals. So, big fan of that. Uh, me and this truck are about to, be, about to be become very intimately familiar as I drive it 14 hours to deliver it. So, we're uh, very flexible here at Fastlane. Uh, so, that'll be kind of neat. Um, but, you know, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more cool Fastlane content. I'll see you fine folks next time.